Introducing the Change Pad by Fuck. And this Change Pad is fucking terrible. What we have here is a pad that allows you to switch between two images. Now, the tutorial, which is substandard at best, goes through a couple of very simple ideas. On the trailer, they talk about hundreds of ideas that you can do with this pad. Unfortunately, none of them are covered in the tutorial. Now you see on the screen where it said high quality gimmick, that is a complete and total lie. Having bought three of these high quality gimmicks, I can tell you that they are shit quality because each one of them is either broken on arrival or broken between five to ten minutes of using it and I'm not the only person so what we have here is a trick that is substandard terrible shoddy craftsmanship and not fit for purpose at the end of the trailer you'll see a list of credits of people they want to thank the guy that created the packaging the guy that created the trick Nowhere on that list of credits do they have man in charge of quality control. You see, that's the problem. They needed to hire a quality control guy so that all the pads that went out actually worked instead of being shit. But nowhere on the trailer does it talk about the angle issues or the lighting problems that you're going to have with this pad which is a shame because most of the tutorial didn't talk about the various tricks they can do instead it talked about all the different ways you need to be careful about lighting because here's the thing in a lot of environments People will see exactly how this works. Oh, and by the way, all the tricks that are coming up on the screen at the moment, other than the killer prediction, they don't really explain how to do them. So what we have here ultimately is a trick that allows you to switch between one image and another image in certain lighting conditions if you're lucky. It's not exactly the greatest thing of all time. Not many magicians will use it, but to be honest, even if you want to use it, you can't because it's going to arrive broken unless you're incredibly lucky. And if you are incredibly lucky and you get one that actually works, then it's probably gonna end up in your bottom drawer and you're never going to use it. Doesn't matter whether you get the big one or the small one, it's terrible. It's awful craftsmanship. It's an idea that's just not good, and there's a million ways of doing this much better. Instead of spending the money on ChangePad, why don't you do something else with the money instead? Something more worthwhile. Anything, anything would be better than buying this piece of crap. It's fucking awful.